Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I've got something Harry Potter related and these dolls are from Mattel. These are the new Harry Potter um, Goblet of Fire dollars and these are the clothes what Hermione's wearing when she goes to the ball um, and they've actually come out with with one of series one of the ones in the rubs which I did a review on and you get Hermione, Ron, Harry and Ginny in the first wave and they're all in the robes then you get um series two which was the um I think it was the Quidditch ones and I've also got Albus Dumbledore and um Professor McGonagall so I've done reviews on all of them so they've got got Quidditch ones the ones in the robes the professors and now the Goblet of Fire ones. So this is the first one I picked up. And I am going to do a review on all four of them. So there's Amani. There's um, Shoshan. There's Ron Weasley. And there's Harry Potter. And there they are on the back of the box. I'll take a close picture of them. So you can have a close um, look at them. At, right at the end of the video. And the packaging is pretty much the same. Other than the background. It's got this lovely ball setting from when they all get um, dressed up and go to the Christmas ball and then it's just got like the Christmas tree in the background and it looks absolutely amazing and it comes with an accessory as well of some type of like crown or some type of shape of a castle or something like that I'm not pretty sure I think I've totally missed something out there because I'm a massive um, Harry Potter fan and I've literally can't remember what this is from so someone let me know in the comment section down below but it just shows you that there's the picture of Amani um, there from the movie Harry Potter there on this side of the packaging sorry this side of the packaging it just says Harry Potter there and these retail for 24 25 pounds from Smith's so I will link her in the description box down below there isn't really much more I can say and I love the fact that we've got another new character there she looks absolutely stunning and i will do reviews on all of them so please stay um tuned subscribe to my channel and look out for these reviews on these if you're an absolutely massive harry potter fan like me and without further ado i'm going to get this beautiful gem out of the packaging so guys i've got a minor granger out of the packaging and she looks absolutely beautiful on the camera the dress is letting off a little bit more pinky and purpley in some places so um, please bear that in mind, but it's pretty much nearly the same colour anyway. And I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit more so you can actually see it a little bit nicer as well. And then this is the accessory it comes with. So I think this is from the Goblet of Fire. It's in this like purpley colour with a bit of glitter in it. I'm going to put on the light. You can see it has a nice sheen to it. It's in a purpley colour and you can actually bend it as well. So I don't fully understand what it's for. So let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, this is Amani in a dress up close. I'll put the light on so you can see that this bit of fabric in this like chiffony net fabric is um, got a bit of glisten in it. Then at the bottom of the dress, it's got a plumber colour at the bottom and it's in a silky, um, like silky softer material. It's not 100% silk, it's a bit like a, like a chiffon fabric. And it's a little bit more plumber in person as it's, as it's letting off on camera, it's a bit more pink. But it fades into three different colours. So you've got a lovely pinky colour in the middle, light pink at the top here, and it's like a pleated or like ruffled down. Uh, and just to bear in mind as well that um, you really do need a doll stand for this doll as it, she doesn't stand that well on her own. I've had to try my hardest to stand and this is the best I could do. Um, I haven't got a doll stand at this, at this moment in time. So this is how I'm having to do it. But it genuinely looks absolutely stunning. As you can see, she's fully articulated in the arms. Um, she's got a lovely pink bow in the middle of the dress. 
It's in this lovely silk material and the, the dress itself is sewn really nice and it's got a really, as you can see, it flows really nice and it moves when you move it. And she's wearing these lovely pink heels. Um, if you remove the shoe, you can see that she has what I call the Barbie point feet. So that's why she can't stand very well. So I would personally think that she is more for display than for play purposes. Um, but they're just a normal pink standard shoe with a little bit of like stud detail in there. Just all in one colour. And you can still stand there, but I would recommend a doll stand. And you can still play with her if you wanted to because she's articulated as well. So she's got some really good posability. Um, just like the other dolls, she's just got the same posability so she can stand and you can pose her however you want on the doll stand or just for play purposes. So that's really good. And then she's just got this beautiful dress which flows really nice. You just got to be careful not to crease it. And this is the back of the dress. You can remove it, it's got Velcro there. So that's really good, so you can even swap it with some other dolls if you really wanted to. And then, now I'm going to show you a face up close. So guys, this is Amani's face up close. She looks really, really pretty. They've got a likeness done really nice, I think. Um, better in certain angles like there, that looks really pretty. And like on certain angles like especially on a side angle it looks a lot more like her than actual face on but her face in general just looks really pretty she's got these really nice brown eyes and her face sculpt is different to the other Amani doll so we'll, I will do a quick comparison in a minute Um, she's got some nice freckling across the cheeks and a nice little light pink nude lipstick she looks really, really pretty. The eyes and the eyebrows are done really nice and painted really nice. And then she's got these little pink flower earrings, which you need to be careful with because they may come out. And this is the hair at the back. She's got three buns and then one big bun as well. And all the hair's gelled with some little ringlet bits um, dropping down here. I don't know if there was as long as that... Um, in the movie but if you're really good at cutting hair the, these will be quite easy to cut i would recommend putting this in like a glass um like a plastic doll cabinet or a glass cabinet just to keep it um in its shape and if you play with it it will eventually all come out but it's really nicely done this is a sad angle of it as you can see you can kind of lift it up as well there so if you washed all this out and took all of it out, you could possibly make it look really long. Um, but I'm going to leave it as it is because she looks absolutely stunning. And the hair itself has got brown and lighter brown mixed in. So I like how they've changed different colours there. I just quickly want to just turn the light out so you can see it a little bit different at so you can see there, looks really pretty. And I'm gonna have one more look at her face. Let me focus that in. She is just so pretty. And I am really gonna show you the articulation because it's pretty much the same. So as you can see, she has got bends in the hands and they can swivel all the way around. She got some bend in the arms as well, so you can put the arms out like that and lift her. And for a doll in a dress which can't really move a lot, um, she can quite well. So she can lift her leg up that far up and then she's even got a bend. So you can do some really nice possibility with her and but I think the main attraction is just because she's in this beautiful dress. So I'm going to quickly do a face comparison with the other Amani doll. She, they look absolutely so pretty together. You can actually tell that this one looks a bit more mature and there's a, quite a big difference in the face. Um, 
Not as much in the eyes or like the nose, but like there is actually a difference because this Hermione is, sm is smiling a little bit more, showing a little bit more teeth. And then this one, she's just um, doing like a little grin on her face. And they both got freckling, but these freckles are a little bit more, you can see them a bit more clearer as these ones are a bit more faded. So I think both of the face expressions are different, um, but still very pretty. And then their her, her eyebrows are a little bit different as well. But I like both of them in both different ways. So now that I've done a face comparison, this is a quick size comparison and obviously Hermione in the dress is a little bit taller and that's because she's in heels and I also think that they've done it because she's meant to be a bit more older and a bit more mature. So when I get the new Ron and Harry dolls, I'm hoping that they're still around the same size um, because she might stand a little bit taller with the heels. I don't know if they've used the same joints and new and and the same pats as the um older ones but the arms are definitely like pretty much the same the legs are other than the bottom of the legs obviously they go more pointed so she can wear the heels but this is just a quick size comparison and i think they stand pretty good um this amani is only like one to two centimeters shorter so it's not a real big deal and i think they look absolutely amazing standing side by side and they'll look really good on display and i do recommend putting her on a doll stand as she will fall over and that's why i've had to lean them against the wall just to show you a quick size comparison so now i'm going to turn the camera over tell you a few more little things and um, so stay um, so stay tuned for that so guys, I am nearly done with this review. I want to quickly do my overall thoughts and tell you some things about this dress as well. So as you can see now, the colour is showing more what it truly looks like. So it's like this plum colour at the bottom, then like a peachy pink colour in the middle, and then a light, a really like faded pink at the top, and then like a darker pink, like this pink, but in a silk fabric, I am at the top as well and then in the middle that plum is the same colour as the bow so that's the truer colour what you can see there so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, this review on the new Harry Potter Hermione doll my overall thoughts on the doll is she's absolutely stunning I give everything a 10 out of 10 the dress is so well sewn and so well made Um, I love the fact that it's removable I give the hair and the way they um, styled the hair is a good 10 out of 10 and a face, a new face sculpt is lovely as well. Um, there isn't one thing I can say badly other than you do definitely need a doll stand. So for play purposes, she's not really good for like standing actions or anything like that but she can look really good on a stand and just stand there looking stunning in that beautiful dress so yeah i still think she's well recommended i am going to get the other harry potter dolls as well so stay tuned for that i have done all of the reviews on all the other dolls that have come out up to now so uh, up to now so mattel's done a brilliant job on that so check them out i will link her in the description box down below she was 24 25 pounds and yeah from smith so get toy hunting and the much more i can say other than like and subscribe to my channel hit that alarm bell i will have more toy related stuff coming up soon i've got some Jurassic world stuff coming up soon and some more harry potter dolls i'm definitely getting all of the other ones so i will have them up soon if and when i've got some big changes happening to my channel as well so yeah so please like, subscribe to my channel, hit that alarm bell and I will see you on the next one guys. Bye!